mistakenly, I was actually going for like a free improv class. And my buddy was like, I'm going to take this improv class. And they were like, uh, we got stand-up available. And I was like, I'm going to do that instead and leave you by yourself. So I left my friend alone and uh, went to writing. I love writing. So uh, I just went ahead and, and did stand-up. And I've been doing it since. Uh, it was terrible. Um, I had three beers right before I went up. Right when I was on deck, I forgot my entire stand-up. Uh, I went up there and I was like, you know what? Um, nobody knows what I'm going to say. Nobody knows what my stand-up was about. So I forget, if I forget a joke here and there, no one's going to know. Uh, afterwards, it was exhilarating. I got a lot of good feedback and just kind of went, went from there. I actually really like Donald Glover, uh, Weirdo. It's one of my favorites. Um, Aziz Ansari, Dangerously Delicious. Uh, anything Dave Chappelle does. Uh, Kevin Hart, Little Grown Man. Uh, I think that's, yeah. Oh, uh, some of Bo Burnham stuff I like too. Uh, normally when I Netflix and show, I just put that on. And he's a crazy white boy. I don't, I don't know what it is about him, but he's, He's funny to me, yeah. Sitcoms, I'd say, I really like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's probably one of my all-time favorite uh, comedy shows. Uh, films, man, I really like uh, Jude Apatow, a lot of his stuff, uh, 40 Year Old Virgin. Um, what else? Uh, a lot of the stupid stuff, you know, like Will Ferrell, the Step Brothers, a lot of the the out out of the ordinary. Um, but you know, I I enjoy the writing more than anything else. So I find uh, a lot of comedy and things that aren't funny as well too. So I I just um, I find comedy and I don't know, like things that make you cry, like The Notebook, Moana. I just it just makes me laugh. It's making me laugh. I'm like, I, I don't understand. Braveheart, it, it cracks me up. So it's weird uh, in that I don't have like favorite comedies, movies, but I find the funny and the not so funny. Probably right now is Ethan Sorry. I'd love to uh, have an opportunity to open for him. Um, anyone else really that'll pay me, I'll do it. But if I had a choice, um, I would do it as these for free. So call me. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard Pryor, uh, Bernie Mac. Um, I know you you forgot that one. Um, Kevin Hart, uh, Dave Chappelle, and actually probably Tommy Davidson too. Yeah. yeah. Just really staying in stand-up and doing some writing. I do uh, write uh, some things like online web series and stuff like that right now. And I worked on two um, actually comedy films, uh, just doing some writing, consulting and stuff like that. So hopefully I can translate into more uh, comedy in that way. Uh, but right now, I mean, I'm satisfied just doing the stand-up as it is. Hopefully doing more festivals. Um, I like to travel. I, I've actually been to two comedy festivals, one in Baltimore just in September. And um, I just like traveling, getting to meet new people, network. Um, I don't, I would like my own Netflix special at some point, but I know it'll get there. Uh, I just started, you know, not too long ago, doing comedy about six months ago. So right now everything is kind of the limit for me, so. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, the Instagram at Give Mike a Mike. Uh, 
You can find me on YouTube, Michael Vivaldi. I have a channel on there. Um, and also on a new radio show starting January 5th. It's called Locura Radio. It's on radiount.net. And I'll be uh, one of the hosts on that show as well. You know, don't don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to kind of get outside of your comfort area because that's when you uh, when you thrive. And it's not, it's okay to be who you are and talk about your passion. That's that what tra that's what translates most. You know, whatever you're passionate about, go up there and talk about it. Whether you're terrible, whether you bomb at it, failure is the biggest way to learn. So I've heard. Uh, I'm a perfectionist, so I hate hearing that. But uh, it's just important for you if you you know try something new if you don't if it's not stand up do improv do anything just do just do it and then see where it goes from there my name is michael valdi you can find me at give mike a mic and you can find this interview at a q d p i a q d p i dot com uh check me out and check out your local comedians nationwide and have fun.